In a multi-camera live production environment, consistency is key. The goal is to match the exposure and color across every camera so cuts feel natural and undistracting. Although it's somewhat possible to match cameras by eye, the results are much more consistent and precise with the aid of a tool, specifically scopes. Scopes are a set of tools designed to visually and objectively give us information about brightness and color of a video signal. Color perception can vary greatly from person to person, and a scope eliminates human bias by presenting measurable information about exposure, white balance, hue, and saturation, and more. The most common scopes used in live production are the waveform, vector scope, and RGB parade. A waveform displays information about brightness or luminance, and a vector scope displays information about color or chrominance. An RGB parade displays a waveform of each individual color channel, red, green, and blue, and is helpful in determining color channel clipping and identifying color casts, especially in white or black portions of an image. Let's take a look at how each scope works. A waveform monitor uses an IRE scale to measure the brightness or luminance of a video signal. It tells us nothing about color. It represents the picture mapped from left to right and plots brightness from top to bottom. Zero IRE is black and is located at the bottom, and 100 IRE is white located at the top. If the wave is bunched up at the bottom and goes flat, that portion of the image is crushed and has no detail in the shadows. If the wave is flat on the top, that portion of the image is too bright and it's clipped with no details in the highlights. A vector scope measures the distribution of color in an image. Pure white and pure black are represented as a dot in the center, and hues radiate out at different angles from there, with red, magenta, blue, cyan, green, and yellow targets around the edges. The farther the trace is from the center, the more saturated the colors are in the image. The nearer they are to the center, the less saturated the color. If the trace is offset from the center, the vector scope is showing that there is a bias towards a particular color and that it can be corrected by adding the color that is on the opposite side of the color wheel, or by reducing the color towards which the trace is pointing. White balance controls move color temperature along the blue-orange axis, and tint controls move colors along the green and magenta axis. Flesh tones, no matter what the ethnicity of a person, under white light appear along the inline axis of the vector scope graticle, which is an old technical holdover from the days of black and white TV, Sometimes this line is referred to as the FTL, or flesh tone line. An RGB parade is just like a waveform, except it displays brightness information for each individual color channel instead of the overall image. Its use is based on the idea that equal parts of red, green, and blue create neutral colors. 100% R, G, and B equals white, and 0% R, G, and B is black. 50% is gray. If there's a color cast in the blacks or whites of an image, it's easy to tell on an RGB parade because one color channel will be lower or higher than the other. Add or reduce that outlying color and you'll get a neutral image. RGB parades are also useful in seeing if a color channel is clipping separate from the overall luminance. It's very common if things start looking funny on cameras to have a color channel clipping or lifted individually, but not in the luminance overall, particularly using intensely colored stage lights. The RGB Parade helps diagnose all of these problems. In live production, a video engineer typically has a router or aux panel that allows them to quickly route different signals to a scope. As they punch from source to source, it becomes easy to see how signals differ in terms of brightness and color, and then make informed adjustments about how to make the cameras match as closely as possible.